It's a long walk, and we must be careful to avoid the Indonesian military, which patrols this area. Thank you for agreeing for the interview. Um, thank you very much for bringing us up here. Commander Moharam is one of GAM's most senior military leaders, responsible for around a thousand troops in this part of Aceh. About 50 men live in this camp, spread out on a steep hillside with only a few tarpaulins for shelter and thick clouds of mosquitoes for company. When not on patrol, they are trapped here waiting for the next firefight. They're constantly on the run. Their last camp was attacked by the Indonesian army on January 20. In the wake of the Boxing Day tsunami, GAM declared a unilateral ceasefire that was soon echoed by the Indonesian army, or TNI. But there's growing evidence that the TNI is continually violating the ceasefire. This is one of the men wounded in that attack. Kehebatan gam itu hanyalah yang paling hebat itu dari gam itu berbohong. Dia paling pintar sekali. Jadi Lieutenant Colonel Eddie Solistiati is the TNI spokesman for military operations in Aceh. He says his men are observing the ceasefire. Sebetulnya sejak yaitu sejak sejak uh, tsunami ini kami sudah mengambil satu keputusan bahwa pasukan kami akan melaksanakan operasi yang defensif aktif. Kami tidak lagi mencari, kami tidak lagi mengejar, tapi apabila ada gangguan tentunya harus kami atasi. Okay. So the operations you're carrying out since the tsunami, you are not um, going into the hills, you are not trying to catch GAM, you are not trying to um, go to their camps and attack them there, is that correct? Tidak lagi mengejar GAM, tidak lagi membunuh GAM, tidak lagi mencari GAM, betul. Over the past 18 months, these men have survived the Indonesian military's best attempts to wipe them out. In mid-2003, martial law was declared in Aceh, and all foreign journalists and aid workers were banned from the province. Journalists were forbidden from even speaking to GAM. The recent opening up of Aceh to international relief operations has provided a rare opportunity to find out what's been going on while the world has looked the other way. Jadi, jadi lantaran uh, dipegut penyerangan atas gam dengan uh, dengan kekuatan uh, tempur yang cukup rayu yang pergi alat berat masuk pesawat, kapal perang dan menancit alat-alat uh, lagi tank Scorpion dan sebagainya. Ha? Uh, dan menancit dipegut operasi semena-mena atas rakyat Asai mencuriga ke rakyat, sibak rukuk, bantu ke gam, nyo tetap habis, tetap tembak. Ha? Jadi, maka ji lantaran dipujak bot sistem lagi, ha? maka ji uh, internasional di 
di di di di di di tam hai bi tamong tadi kebik-kebik di tam hanjit tamong wace hanjit liput berita dia ce nya timbul pertanyaan pakanya hanya liput antara awaknya yang di lapangan munai begot dengan semena mena tanpa itu boleh internasional the international community barely protested the isolation of Ache and the all-out attacks by the Indonesian military. Gam wants to know why the world ignored Ache's plight. Jadi, pekon no kekuatan dunia termasuk lagi Amerika Serikat, Perancis, Rekun, China, pulaunya kena hak pitu. Pekon yang gunakan hak pitu untuk tegak Indonesia. Padahal hanya memang butir-butir orang pembantaian etnis. Haa? Jadi memang betul-betul uh, ke dipoh ayat sepil. Jadi pakuan internasional ni diam. Baru uronyo sebab na musibah tsunami baru kita mong guna wacai. Pakuan hamba raka pada darurat pun. Major General Bambang Damano was in charge of implementing martial law. He is now responsible for the international tsunami relief effort as the former commander during the time of martial law. Do you feel the, um, the operation um, was successful in reducing the activity of the second? Yeah. yeah. I feel that, of course. Not because I'm, 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 I was the commander yeah. at the first, at the, the first mi military emergency status here. Not because of that, but the, reali the reality is, yeah. The reality here. Yeah. I think you can compare when you were you you were here and and met me in in, in September 2002. I yeah. think uh, you can compare the, the situation at that time and now. Yeah. And the situation right now is much much uh, happy with the people. The TNI claims to have killed 3,000 GAM troops during martial law. But according to human rights groups and even the US State Department, most of those killed were not GAM, but civilians. <coughs> Commander Muharram says both the TNI and BREMOB, paramilitary police units, still attack civilians on a daily basis, despite the supposed ceasefire. Uh, Kecamatan Indrapuri, ya, mudah mudah. Jadi, gitinan, jadi, uh, uh, gitinan kai drop sedro masyarakat. Wadai tak mau mudah ditimbak waktu dengan membabi buta, saya aku dia warah tanpa arah. Tanya ya, mudah mudah, potuju, potuju mudah. Ha? Jadi, belahan di drop, uh, di drop Subhan, Subhan bin Nordin, Gampong Muru, Muru Mangra, umur dua puluh tahun. Uh, yang dicok oleh Brimob kejadian saat yang bunga jadi ini sebuah bukti yang bahawa TNI Polri mendong dibuat operasi di lapangan As the tropical rain beats down on their flimsy shelter I realise that far from destroying GAM martial law has driven more recruits to join the struggle Tandon Banta Cek Sudah ke Dipo Dipo Kota Dunia yang ditembak Escorting me back to the coastal plain. The rebels send out a scout to make sure we can safely cross back into TNI controlled territory. Outside of Banda Ache, the army's cleanup of the tsunami has barely begun. But these corpses, wrapped in black plastic, are evidence that the troops have been here. Dogs or thieves have ripped open the body bags. At the base of the mountains, the unburied dead are also a sign of how incredibly close the TNI is to the rebel hideout.
Just a few kilometres from Commander Muharram's camp, TNI troops are stationed next to the flattened remains of a base. 101 military personnel were killed here in the tsunami, along with their wives and children. Officially, the TNI maintains only 363 of its men were lost in the tsunami. But with most bases situated in coastal regions like this one, the real toll is sure to be much higher. Thousands of extra troops have been rushed here to re-establish bases, assist with the cleanup, and according to the TNI, protect relief workers from attacks by GAM. Di lapangan lain bahwa mereka tetap saja mengganggu masyarakat, mengganggu uh, aktivitas ke, operasi kemanusiaan dan lain-lain, sehingga uh, akan selalu berhadapan dengan pasukan kita yang men, mencoba apa mengamankan jalannya operasi kemanusiaan. Nah, disitulah terjadi kontak dan sebagainya gitu. The TNI claims it has killed more than 200 GAN fighters since the tsunami in the course of its so-called defensive operations. Its spokesman claims the GAN fighters have been killed trying to disrupt the aid effort, but he's reluctant to provide evidence. Have there been any attacks at all on humanitarian convoys or humanitarian supplies? <laughs> pernah itu di di in in julok in julok uh, tapi dia melarikan diri kemudian di bakongan di trumon itu lima five gram that is dead can you give me the, the times and places when the humanitarian relief convoys were attacked kapan uh, itu uh, mereka menghadap Kalau yang di Julok itu... Although the Lieutenant Colonel eventually supplied some additional information, international relief organisations contacted by Dateline reported no attacks on their personnel or convoys. I was unable to find a single media report that verified any of these incidents. And GAM commanders deny any of the attacks occurred. Jadi, kamu awal-awal daripada penyataan daripada pihak kamu untuk kispaya punya kamu kawai mentaat jadi dia memang hana asyik lantung hana bubut li baik penangkapan dia peculikan kamu asyik hana ke teman yang ke dia memandum lantaran kamu kap duit punya dalam dia memandum berupa ganda daripada pihak musuh untuk mengkambing hitamkan gam the relocation of the population into refugee camps since the tsunami has made it easier for the TNI to locate GAM suspects. Under martial law, the Indonesian military forced 41,000 people into camps away from GAM areas, an attempt to remove the rebels' support base. Now the tsunami has achieved the same result, and the TNI is hunting GAM members in these camps. Soldiers came to this refugee camp near the Banda Aceh port and shot this woman's teenage son, Dodi Surya Hasni Asiwa. The tsunami wiped out this woman's coastal village. It was her son who saved her from the natural disaster, only to be killed a fortnight later. Oh, okay. 
Abinya nanyo hindi nga ingat ajo ko di. Tete anu tanyo yang itlamak mak aji di yang ninga itu itimak le lego. Tiban nama radap atau pikir kanu tanyo nyo. Ha. Takut lah dibang takut ka ate hana le. Ha. Abi jantung lah tadi anu tu orang begah ni. Across the road from the camp, I asked these soldiers if there had been any problems with GAM in that area. There have been several cases in the press in the last uh, three weeks in which GAM soldiers who have come down to visit their relatives after the tsunami have been killed by the TNI. What do you say to that? Do you think any, any GAM personnel who, who you see anywhere for whatever reason, whether they are armed or not, um, do you think it's your duty to kill them on the spot? Uh, jadi begini, kalau mereka 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 mau menjenguk keluarganya, kalau mereka mau mendatangi keluarga silahkan saja, selama mereka tidak mengganggu mengganggu, karena umumnya mereka datang itu dengan niat-niat untuk mengganggu, bahkan untuk membelokkan logistik-logistik dibawa ke Uh, apa basis-basis mereka itu inilah kadang-kadang yang kita ini kita juga sebetulnya sudah berkali-kali menghimbau ya ya momentum inilah kita kesempatan untuk kita saling saling membuka diri kita saling kita selesaikanlah permasalahan ini dengan ya se, sebaik mungkin itu kalau mereka mau menyerahkan diri ya kita akan perlakukan akan keterima dengan baik Ceasefires in Aceh have never meant very much. The last ceasefire in 2003 collapsed after pro-Indonesian militias attacked foreign peace monitors, forcing them to withdraw. The Indonesians then demanded GAM renounce its goal of independence and declared martial law. Just last week, a new peace process got underway in the Finnish capital, Helsinki. GAM announced it would no longer directly appeal for independence, but called instead for the demilitarization of Aceh and a plan for self-government. This was designed to break the impasse created by Indonesia and its outright rejection of independence. Uh, uh, we don't have any comment for this time and we are going to see them. Okay. Kamu sangat mengharapkan, tapi yang betul-betul memang dialog untuk yang independen. Huh? Dialog yang memang betul-betul nak ditengahi oleh pihak internasional yang uh, yang ingin betul-betul menyelesaikan konflik di Aceh. Yang kamu harapkan nak lagi perkara masalah itu perhentian permusuhan ataupun untuk masalah uh, sispaya. Huh? Nyo betul-betul apabila sebuah pihak hanya mentaati, nyo anda aja internasional melalui PBB untuk ikut tindakan atau atau sabo-sabo pihak yang melanggar ke, melanggar daripada uh, perjanjian uh, perjanjian uh, perdamaian tak yo uh, ha So this is where your, your father was holding up job. Yeah, uh, he's in Paris. Oh, 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 oh. This man's father was one of the senior GAM negotiators during the last peace talks and should have been in Helsinki. But Sofian Ibrahim Tiba had been sentenced to 15 years in jail after martial law was declared and was one of hundreds of prisoners caught inside this Banda Ache jail when the tsunami struck. The warriors come from behind this building yeah. and the people is running here because this is the door where they can run. Yeah. According to Tiba's son, Oki, the guards were afraid of the prisoners escaping and kept the door locked. The stench and flies indicate that many bodies remain buried here. I feel very sad, you know. Uh, my father is a negotiator and he is always optimist that uh, there will be more uh, dialogue between GAM and RI, yeah. and Indonesian. Uh, in this week, I heard that uh, there is a dialogue between uh, yeah. government and uh, GAM. And I feel sad that my father not include anymore 
he's, he's not joined the negotiator yeah. because of this amendment. Under martial law, anyone who spoke out against the government was sentenced to prison for up to 15 years. Human rights activists and those who advocated free speech and a referendum for Aceh also died here. With 230,000 dead or missing in Aceh from the tsunami, the Indonesian military has taken the lead role in coordinating the relief effort. The military promotes its version of the conflict to the international organisations that have arrived to assist. It uses the threat of gamma attacks to control where and when aid is delivered. Armed military guards escort all relief convoys and ensure foreign workers do not get close enough to GAM areas to see what is going on. It's a tactic used time and again by the Indonesian military in Aceh and East Timor to intimidate and restrict the foreign presence. As the peace talks were progressing in Helsinki, the TNI released this footage of Army Chief of Staff Riamizad Riakudu supposedly firing at rebels. Despite all the evidence to the contrary, hardliners in the TNI continue to accuse GAM of threatening the aid effort. Sekarang dan kemarin juga sama. Sebelum dan sesudah tsunami ada. Gitu. Cuma kan kita sayangkan kenapa pada saat pasca tsunami ini mereka melakukan itu memanfaatkan kesempatan di mana uh, masyarakat Aceh sedang uh, tertimpa musibah, kemudian juga TNI dan komponen-komponen masyarakat lainnya sedang memfokuskan diri untuk membantu masyarakat Aceh yang sedang kena musibah kok mereka sempat-sempatnya melakukan tindakan seperti itu. It is the military's stated aim that the international attention given to the province following the tsunami will be as brief as possible. With most foreign troops now leaving, they seem to have succeeded. And once relief workers and the media move on, the Archinese will once again be at the mercy of the Indonesian military. Tapi, lo rasa nyok kalia mungkin home lah. Mesti kamu harapan kamu buat international, butui-butui di kalau Aceh nyok. Dengan ada terdimpa musibah tsunami yang bunuh, sehingga rakyat Aceh nyok beknali yang hudip sengsara, Hudip dalam tekanan, hudip dalam ancaman, hudip dalam teror daripada pemerintah Indonesia Jawa. Jadi, uh, teman, kamu agak khawatir. Khawatir kamu ke pihak Indonesia. Sebab awaknya lain dipegah, lain dipubut.